What's up guys, Sanjeev from NR Garage here today and today I'm going to be talking about five things I hate about my 2018 Mustang GT. Alright, so if this is your first time watching me, this is the first video you've ever clicked on. Um, I usually don't look like this. Uh, go click on one of my previous videos. I mean, I usually look like a mess. My beard is usually not ever this shaped up. I'm, I've never ever gotten a taper fade in my life. But um, yeah, so if you do watch me, you know, I got a new haircut. I got a new look. Um, I'm going to start going for this haircut a lot more now. Uh, just because I like the way it looks. And I'm going to kind of start, you know start caring about my fascia just because why not so uh let's get into the video all right so enough about me i want to get into the video i want to get start talking about the car and um basically basically this is going to be five things i hate about my 2018 mustang so pretty much before we get started I want to say it took me so long to figure out what I hated about this car. It, honestly, like, I don't know. I just really like this car. Like, I love the way it looks. I love the way it drives. I love the way it sounds. So it was it was hard finding stuff I hate about the car besides the transmission, you know. Everybody hates the MT-82. That's just, that's just the top of the list. That just breaks the charts. So, uh, let's get into what I hate about this car. First thing I actually hate about the car is something in the interior. Um, if you look up, I have a little, hold on, let me see if I can take this off. I have a little garage opener. Now, I don't know if uh, any other Mustangs come with garage um buttons on the top here most cars have garage buttons in their car uh but i'm not sure why i'm gonna hop out real quick but i'm not sure why ford didn't think about putting garage buttons in these cars i mean this is a beautiful car they made a nice looking car you would think that um a lot of people that buy this car would put it in the garage so not sure why they didn't put garage buttons as soon as i bought the car the night i brought it home I was like, yo, how am I supposed to put this, how am I supposed to connect it to my garage? And I had to order a garage button that night. And I was like, well, that's interesting. No garage button in this car. So uh, yeah, that's the first thing I hate about this car. So the second thing I hate about this car is the body lines. And um, basically just like how it looks when the fender and the front bumper or the rear uh a rear fender i guess i don't know um the rear fender and the rear bumper basically how everything gets together i mean you can see this gap and i don't know why i mean like i've looked at my car literally and been like did that hit something or no nah, it's just that's just how they look i guess just they don't fit together so good there's always a gap i mean that's my door gap but like right here it just looks like it's broken or not connected so well but um yeah like it makes me look at my car sometimes and i'm like is that like about to fall off or something especially coming right here you can see there's a big gap right by the headlight and then once you start coming by the tire it's for some reason gets a lot closer to the uh fender and the bumper so that's something ford needs to fix that i don't know why there's just body lining that's just not connecting how it should all right, so let me show you the third thing that I hate about this car. And I know anybody with a 2018 Mustang watching this video right now. So I know everybody with a 2018 Mustang it knows exactly what I'm talking about. But the third thing I hate about this car is the engine tick. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So the third thing, the third thing had to be that the engine tick. Oh my god. I don't I don't think the engine tick that like the car makes is going to affect the engine at all. 
but it's just especially when i'm in like a drive through i just hear a random tick 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 and i'm just like dog people are gonna be like yo this is a nice mustang you got there but why you got these random tick sounds coming from your engine <laughs> that's what i would think i'd be i'd be sitting in the drive through and i'd be like oh that's a nice car but why you got ticking sounds coming from your engine it's just embarrassing it sounds it sounds not okay like it makes me sound concerned but so far everything's been okay i'm about to hit 10,000 miles that's probably gonna be one of my next videos is a 10,000 mile review but uh let me but let me not get off topic because that's exactly what i love doing you guys know that so while we do have the engine open as you can see i don't have an engine cover on my car and um i would think that most of you guys watching this video would know what the 2018 mustang's engine cover looks like if you don't then i'll put a picture right now it'll be like probably in some type of corner but you would know that um as you can see if you don't know what it looks like it is huge and it makes the car makes the engine bay just look like weird i don't know i don't know how to explain it it's just you can't see the manifold you can't really see like what's going on under there people like to see at least the eight cylinders going across but for me i would i would definitely like to see the cylinders going across and i just hate that stock engine cover i definitely took it off like literally two weeks of having the car i took it off i'm pretty sure it traps a lot of heat down here this engine bay is like still hot i've been here for like 30 minutes 20 minutes um this engine bay is still pretty hot and literally the engine cover covers like all this so it's just heat getting stuck in there that engine cover is not good i don't know why they they should have at least kept it the old engine cover was nice and simple it literally just sat on here and said nice and big 5.0 on it um but yeah ford should definitely redesign that engine cover uh and the next gen coyotes because i don't know that's just not it so the last thing i hate about this car every time i every time i say the last thing i hate about this car or everything every time i say i hate something about this car i really feel like i hate i hate this car i sound like i hate this car i just want to make it clear i love this car a lot all right so let me take a seat in here and i'll show you guys right here this is like a seat belt holder kind of thing and these things are so annoying all right so basically this is to put your seat belt through and you clip it right there on the clip and it's supposed to help you get your seat belt it's supposed to help you get your seat belt basically because i mean the seat belt's all the way back there so you don't have to reach as much because it's sitting right here but you yank on this a little bit literally this thing just clips off like that it just clips off so easily same on the other side it's the same issue this needs to at least be secure like you're not supposed to take this off at all like this should just be there and you can't get it out or they need to make it stronger or i don't know Ford just needs to fix that for sure because that is really annoying. I don't even have mine clipped anymore. I just keep it off pretty much just because I'm just used to gra getting all the way back there and grabbing my seatbelt. Now, if you look at the five things I actually hate about this car, they're literally things that will not affect you at all for daily driving or anything. Um, I would say the only thing that I actually dislike about this car out of those five things that actually like I think about is the garage opener. I don't know why they didn't put the garage buttons in this car. But otherwise, this car is just the best. I love this car. It looks amazing. I say it in pretty much a lot of my, or all my videos. I always just talk about how much I love this car and how it just, just always looks good. It just never fails. All right, so I am gonna start wrapping up the video uh like i said i love this car it was actually a struggle trying to find what i dislike about this car um it took me a while even like in the middle of the video right now i was recording and i was like man i don't really hate that about the car i have to think of something else because that's just stupid so it was just it was a struggle trying to find what i dislike about this car 
I also want to um, give a moment to appreciate all the support I've been getting. Uh, I'm at a thousand. I'm at 1.1k now. Um, I'm gonna get. I'm getting close to 1.2k. So uh, if you're new to the channel, definitely hit the subscribe button. Um, comment. You know, comment what's up. Give me like, <clears throat> kind of like review my videos. Like I want to know uh, what I'm doing wrong. Uh, I have a lot of room for improvement. I know that. Um, but yeah, I just want to give a thanks. Um, if you're watching the video, subscribe, leave a like. I want to give a thank you to you because uh, you're helping me out. You're giving me a reason to make these videos. And I actually enjoy it. I mean, like I'm literally right now, I'm looking at my car through the, through the camera because I just love the way it's just sitting. I enjoy making these videos. And um, every time I see some feedback, it just makes me feel better and makes me want to make more videos. So uh, this has been the G from our Garage. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.